We're going to do a camper trailer here. So I'm going to flip this across and we'll have a look. The, obviously a rooftop tent. It's pretty standard. Pretty standard rooftop. Um, yeah, that's the bus. So yeah, this is um, swing away. So Rego, already being compliant. Swing away tire. Have we'll a look in here. Huge storage space in here. Another big storage drawer. Personally, I'd probably put all dividers in here so you can put all your dry foods and um, anything like that. Trailer comes with 15 amp lead. There's your 15 amper. Uh, that's the charger battery system in. Alrighty, so we'll go back around here. Well, obviously we got these, there's one each side. Wet storage, lockable, um, LED tail lights. We'll come around here, this is where all the business is. So we got 240 uh, power up there, stereo, um, just the main switch. All your switches here, there's mainly lights, I think. Uh, this is radio, lights, water pump, and all the rest of the lights. So all the, all these lights, all these compartments light up. What's the SIG port here? USB, SIG port. Water's half full at the moment. Um, this is for your inverter. So just under here, there's a power in. Power in point. That's when you want to charge your batteries up. So you got to have this on. This is a, uh, I think that's just for your inverter. Um, slide out kitchen, kitchen sink, it's plumbed. Um, this, these trailers here are only plumbed up to cold water. They do, uh, let's have a look here. They do, well it's zip tied, but it does have a hot water line there, so you can plumb that straight in. Dometic twin burner stove. Um, see how they go. They might be alright. I'll have to check out the specs on these to see how wind resistant these are. So they might be alright. But yeah, fold down sink comes with a runaway hose, plug, all that. Extra grommet. Um, yeah, stereo works, does have FM. Uh, an AM, USB port, um, all of that stuff, AUX, not that everyone's running Bluetooth these days. Um, yeah, plenty of storage, plenty of storage for here. Stereo actually goes all right and actually sounds pretty good. We'll go back around here and close this up. So these trailers here, you just pop them in, stop there like that, and then do that, close them, lock them, same again with this one, uh, if you don't get that stuck, I'm doing it one handed, excuse us, <laughs> so also at the back here while we're here, recovery hitches, accessory hitch, so your pin goes up underneath, put your split pin for your accessories like push bikes and whatever else you want to put on here, but yeah these are these recovery hitches are here, they are um, welded into the chassis, them ones. So they are rated, so they'll drag you out if you get stuck. Um, independent suspension, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, open this side up here under the tent. So you got, this is where the lights are run. That one goes all the way across, lights up that whole section. Uh, some more charge points. If you want to put cameras or anything like that. Um, I believe these are two 100 amp hour batteries. Inverter, unknown brand I think, just a Chinese brand I believe, but it does work. Um, yeah, that's a switch, I don't know if you can see that. That was the one that was on the other panel, which is wired up to this one. So obviously you can't see that from here, but that works. And we'll open up these doors. Uh, we'll just put the um, these are the poles and tie down points for the 270 degree awning. It's a bit windy, 
to open it up for a display at the moment. There's your water pump, all plumbed up. That's all wired up. A um, pre, uh, that's a self-priming pump, fielded. That's plumbed up your kitchen. Uh, you'll have to probably run a T-piece if you want to run more outlets. That's just a hot shower unit. That doesn't, it's not with it. That's just sitting here for now. Um, but yeah, here's a bit more on the inverter. Mind you, all the leads are all covered, conduit, water tank here, that's your filler, I uh, believe it's a 150 or 200 litre, thereabouts, it's a big tank for a little trailer, it's quite a big tank, so that's got a locking pin here to lock them open, so one handed, excuse us guys, oh, there we go, so come around here, Two gas bottle storages, four and a half kilos. Um, you could probably nip them off if they get in the way, but you can do that later date or swap them around, have them go on the inside. This front toolbox pretty much be um, could be anything. Uh, tools, you'd fit you know half a dozen jerry cans in there if you needed extra fuel, that sort of stuff. Another jerry can holder on that side. Um, they are vented on both sides so it should should create with the weather ceilings on all the doors it should create a positive positive pressure inside of it so it should eliminate the bulk of the dust going into these everything most of your bolts that aren't pot riveted any bolts and whatnot that are on you have got nylon nuts so you've got nylon nuts pretty much everything there's a nylon nut. Anything that's not a nylon nut to rivet. Um, yeah, here's the other section here. This is the other dry section, wet section, sorry. Muddy boots, whatever, rubbish. Um, whatever floats your boat, that one. But yeah, rooftop tents up, it's open. It does have a 270 degree awning, which that pops on. Pops up, we'll just open that up. We'll just lift that part up for now. We'll have a look. Yeah, it just sits up like that. So, basically, when that's in the open position, um, yeah, when it's in the open position, that's just the cover for the tent. But when it's in the open position, people can stand under it, which is pretty good. Gas strutted, um, yeah, all nylon nuts again. Everything's on, rubber sealed, siliconed, which is not bad. Mind you, I'm closing all this up one handed <laughs> as I'm holding the camera. So bear with me. Give me a second, guys. Yeah, one handed, but you can do it. <laughs> so, also, it has on here. 265, 75, 16 inch tyres. So, guessing they're like a semi off road tyre, probably 80 20, I'm guessing. Um, we'll get under here, we'll have a quick look. Here's your rainwater tank. Um, this has all got food grade fittings on it, which is good. Uh, the independent suspension, uh, nothing too flashy, but. Should work alright. Electric brakes, it's plumbed in, cable handbrake. Um, yeah. Mud flaps are okay, I'd probably do something else with them. We've got jack stands here, more bracing here, so there'd be like a rock slider or if you hit something on the ground it's protect the protect the trailer. Which is not too bad. Yeah, it's open position. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad on the Black Ranger. For anyone else that's got a Ranger and might want one of these. So everything's been blacked out on it. Rim's got blacked out. Um, yeah, we did ask for the chassis to be um, hot gal dipped. 
but I'm guessing I just used galv and then powder coated everything just because the um, wanted the A-frame here to be thing that's powder coated instead uh, rated jockey wheel handbrake two ton rated hitch poly block hitch um, yeah VIN's been stamped into it um, plated this is mod plated for South Australia got your reflectors so these have been passed um, orange reflector down here the rear tail lights actually have um, reflectors in them which makes them road legal so the reverse lights work with your car so that works when you're reversing so the lights up the back of you number plate light here um, yeah decent lumber plate holder yeah that's basically it um, nice cables to make it solid but yeah she's not bad looks pretty good Yeah, we'll, we'll call that a wrap and yeah, see you on the next one. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want guys. If you want to see more of this stuff or more on this thing when we go off-roading with it. Yeah, cheers.